Hello and welcome back to Growler Model Painting. Um, today is a tutorial on how to paint tyranids. It can be applied to absolutely any tyranid from really small ones like this to really huge trigons and carnifexes. So the inspiration for this painting video, or I should say the idea, is from the um, new How to Paint It on Miniatures book. A really, really nice section on painting tyranids in the book and um, it's inspired us to use that paint job on most of my turnits so this is a video to show how to do that okay so as you can see um, I've got five turnits here uh, this technique is really good for batch painting so I do I usually do five at a time because it's, it's really nice and fast and you can do loads at once and it's what I recommend so first you want to get um, some skull white spray paint and you want to base coat all your models and that um, don't doesn't matter if it's not a perfect coat, um, you just want to get them all nice and white. So to start, um, we're going to start with Seraphim Sepia. So all the paints are in the description, um, so if you're wondering about which paints to use, they're all there. I'm um, going to start with a Citadel wash brush. You need a bit of water on your brush. And we're just going to take this shade and apply it to all the um, skin areas of the model. So I'll just show you in this model here. So the idea is we're just applying this to all these um, areas like this. In fact, it's probably best to apply it over the entire model because then you know you haven't missed any bits out and you know you won't have to come back to this stage. So I like to just base, do the entire model with this wash um, so I know I've covered all the areas I need to. Alright, so I've just finished painting uh, that flesh wash onto the model. Um, I've covered most of the model. Obviously, I've left the bits I know are going to be red anyway. Um, so you just want a really thorough coating on there and just let it dry. So the next step now is to focus on the carapace. And to do that, we're going to start with the uh, Mephiston Red Base Coat. And we're just going to use a base coat and brush like this one. So, want a little bit of water on your brush um, for this paint. It's it's quite thick, um, and we're just going to apply this paint all over the carapace of the model. So this area here, all over this bit. And we're going to do the claws as well, um, and all the way down the spine. These um, new base colour paints cover the areas really well, especially over white spray paint. So you should only need one coat. Um, if you need to do more than one coat, I would suggest less water on your paint because you've clearly watered down too much if you need to do more than one coat with this new Mephiston Red. So I've just finished um, all the Mephiston red areas on the carapace and the claws and all them areas. So now what we want to do is we want to take go back with a wash brush, um, and this time we're going to use Reichland Flesh Shade Wash. Um, the equivalent will be in the description, so just look down there. Um, and with this wash, we're just going to go about all these red areas on the carapace and claws. Um, and it's just going to give them a nice dark tone in the recesses. Now this wash really um, goes nice with this red. Really complements the colour of it. Um, so it's the perfect colour for this red. So just every little red area, even these little blades coming off his elbows, just every piece of red. So 
So once you've finished the, the wash on the red areas, now it's been shaded, we're going to highlight uh, with blood red or in the new paints, uh, Evil Sun's red. So I'm going to use a detail brush to do this and I'm going to just highlight around all the carapace areas in the small scythe and talon blades and areas like that. So when you're highlighting uh, the carapace areas like this, the idea is you just want to get a small amount of paint on your brush and go all the way around the edge of the carapace like this. And when you've went all the way around the edge of all the carapace layers, it should look like a really nice graduated highlight uh, all the way down the, the, the area. Don't be uh, scared to get plenty of paint on your brush because you, you do want this highlight to be really bold against the, uh, the previous red. Um, I'm going to use the same technique going down the blades um, do that little claw there. What I do is I uh, pick out the sharp edge of the blade like that and highlight down the sharpest area. Um, so I'll be back when I'm finished this bit. Right, so next step, um, we're going to take another wash, Karaberg Crimson, um, and we're going to use the wash brush again. Now, this wash is, on this model, I'm not going to apply this wash, but if you're doing a model like this one here, a Termagon, um, you'd use this wash on the weapon, so you'd be picking out areas like this on the weapon, avoiding his hands and also models who have the tongue sticking out like this one here you'd, you'd use the caribou crimson on the tongue just to make it a nice deep pink colour but as you can see this model I'm working on here uh, has no tongue or weapon so um, I'll just show you a small example model. Well, this is obviously a finished model, has the weapon itself, it's a nice deep colour there, and it has the tongue on it as well. Right, so the next step is yet again another wash. Um, Agrax Earthshade or Devlin Mud if you're using the old paints. Um, I would always recommend using a wash brush when, you, when using shades or washes, but for this particular step, I'm going to use a base coat brush, um, or you would use a medium brush. It's just purely because the the gaps you've got to get are not very small. It'd be really hard to uh, use a wash brush to get in these gaps. So where we're aiming to go is um, any joints and the mouth. So if you can see here, uh, there's an angle there. I just want to get in that joint there and darken that recess with this paint. And you just want to do that on all the joints. So elbow joints as well like this one you just want to darken that down um, in the mouth as well so you just want to get this wash to fall in between all these teeth like this um, so it just gives a better definition when we paint the teeth later on um, so as you can see his mouth's a lot darker there and when that dries it'll look, it'll look quite sinister um, all these little joints like this need painting with this wash and then we should be ready to move on to the details so next step um, coming towards the end now it's details so first detail we're going to do is with den of stone um, in the new paints we'll put in the description what the equivalent is in the new paints so I'm going to use a detail brush to use this um, this paint because it's for the teeth. Um, now you only need a very small amount in your brush because the teeth are so small on two nits. Um, so we've darkened down that recess and now we're just going to pick them teeth out with this detail brush. Take really take your time picking out these little details. Um, 
one mistake can cause a lot of tidying up and um, it can just be avoided altogether by really taking your time with each tooth and being very careful so um, once he's once I've painted all these teeth I'll um, be back to show you the final touch so now on the final touch I'm um, going to use some golden yellow um, I think it's called flash gets yellow in the new paints but we'll, we'll put it in the description anyway and this is purely just for our eyes so <clears throat> this is a really key part don't want to make mistakes again um, just really carefully paint in the eyeball really take your time and make sure you get right in there um, don't want to be making mistakes at this late stage in the model um, so we'll just do the other eye here and that is the finished model itself obviously the base um, I'll, I'll be doing a, a more urban theme on the base but that that's completely your choice what what you do on the base and um, got plenty of base and videos on the channel so if you want to know how I do my bases just check them videos out and um, we'll put some pictures of the uh, finished models up so you can get a good view of them and um, good luck with your painting I hope you enjoyed the video he has a 360 degree view of a finished Hormagon. Hopefully you can see that there in a nice amount of detail. And he has a 360 degree view of a finished Termagon. As you can see the guns had Caribou Crimson used on it. Oops, sorry.